So guys, there I was this morning, just chilling in bed when one of the homies hit me up and said there is a new Japanese Cress Luna team running around that was made by none other than Hirofumi, right? And of course, it piqued my interest. I'm like, well, Cress Luna, you know, I'm a big fan of Cress Luna and Hirofumi, obviously, a former world runner up. You know, he got number two at the world championship and apparently this team was also rank one on ladder. The homie then goes on to say, Colin, aka the battle room, has just done a video on it so i'm like okay you piqued my interest i'm gonna i'm gonna take a look at the team now I'm, I'm, I'm curious as to what this team is and then i see this here and i'm like you know what Let, let's let's give this a test right this this team looks incredibly fun right not only is it like the rank number one you know team on the ladder right now for regulation f but it's also like it's just a japanese team right and everyone knows japanese teams are always the source yeah they're, they're saucy right so you look at this team here we got Incin, right? It's Terra Grass. It's got Citrus Berry. Not bad, you know. Obviously, Terra Ghost right now is pretty common. But Terra Grass, obviously, when you're not running goggles, um, especially too when you only have one other uh, real immunity to Amoongus, obviously very, very good. Here we have, you know, a pretty standard Choice Specs Terra Fairy Fluttermane here with our Power Gem. Now, I will note, um, I did reverse engineer the spreads for this. I will put the paste in the description. This is a Timid Max Speed Fluttermane um, with nowhere near as much bulk as I think it should have. It has quite a lot of HP, uh, but like no defense, which to me was like really, really interesting. Um, but regardless, you know, here, Fumi, I'm not gonna, yeah, you're, you're the guy here, not me. Uh, we got, you know, an adamant Okapawn Wellspring here with like minimum speed or like low speed, at least I should say. I think it's like adamant with like poor speed. Um, very, very good. Obviously when you're running one of these, you know, hybrid trick room teams, I think having a, a very slow Okapawn obviously can go a long way, especially if you do get up the trick room. Of course, AV Raging Bolt here with Terra Electric, which I thought was super interesting because a lot of the time when I think of like Assault Vest, I always think of something like Terra Fairy because then that allows you to take on opposing um, Carbon Mine Raging Bolts, right? Especially too, because a lot of the time they kind of just sit there with Snarl, right? And you kind of sit on the board and you're just like, hey, I'm Terra Fairy, which means you have to Thunderclap me. But if you're Thunderclapping me, I'm just spamming Snarl. Uh, no, this is a Terra Electric, three electric moves plus Draco Meteor, which I thought was like super, super interesting. Um, very offensive as well. It's like 200 special attack um, or in that area. I think it's 196. Still very, very solid. Um, and then of course, you know, the, the main course of the team here, right? It's Cresselia, it's Ursa Luna, right? This Cresselia, Terra Poison, Rocky Helmet. Okay, um, interesting. I'm, I'm honestly shocked it's not Goggles, but of course, you know, having a switch into things like Urshi Rapid, um, even a way to break, you know, the sash on things, of course, like Urshi Poo Single Strike, which does like to come out on lead on you obviously is very very nice right and then you kind of look at the moveset here right you like ally switch okay pretty interesting um you know definitely not a bad move to have especially on best on one ladder it can definitely win you a game uh you know catching your opponent off uh, off guard with it light screen um which i thought was super interesting um in the showcase today it actually did do a little bit of work there were times where i clicked it um luna blessing of course you know very standard when you're playing with ursa luna and then trick room right i'm like okay like four you know pretty solid moves and then i just realized Cress has zero damage like, where's the Psychic? Where's the Moonblast? Where, like, it, there's nothing there. Its job is literally just to set up Trick Room. And then, like, if, if you want a Light Screen, great. If you don't, just spam Ally Switch or Luna Blessing. Okay. I'm like, all right, what, whatever, right? You're the guy, not me. You know, this is this is the source. And then just standard Ursa Luna, right? It, it's what you expect. It's Facade, EQ, SD, Protect. Uh, Terra Ghost, of course. Um, Yeah, very, very good set. Very cool team. Um, I had a lot of fun actually testing that today. So I'm hoping you guys enjoy the video. Um... But yeah, uh, of course, guys, before we actually jump into the battles as well, uh, massive shout out, obviously, to Colin. Um, if it wasn't for Colin, I wouldn't know about this team. Uh, and as I said, Colin is one of my, you know, he's one of my, yeah, sorry, he is my favorite uh, VGC battler, at least on the YouTube side of things. Uh, so, of course, I'll leave a link down below to his stuff. Uh, and of course, here for me, check him out too, obviously, the creator of the team. I'll also leave a link down below to his YouTube as well. Uh, but without further ado, guys, let's uh, let's jump into the battles. Okay, so it looks like we have another hybrid trick room team here. All right, uh, very, very interesting mirror. Um... My biggest question is, is this Blood Moon zero speed or not? Because I know our Earth Luna is not zero speed. Um, that is definitely one of the the biggest things I need to think about here. I do like my Blood Moon, uh, sorry, my own Earth Luna in this game, I think. Um, Raging Bolt, <sighs> probably not. I'm thinking like something like Cress Incin lead. Have you in the back? Do I want... Part of me kind of wants Ogapon Wellspring here. Um, it's good into the Ursa Luna. It's good into their opposing Entei and decent into the rest of their team. Yeah, I think I think Wellspring's my play. Ours is very slow as well. So if we do end up do end up playing a Trick Room mode here, I think we'll be fine. Like I highly doubt his is slower than ours. And chances are too, it's most likely a Water Urshifu. Uh, actually, I shouldn't say that. Actually, it honestly could be either. Like <laughs> on that kind of team, who freaking knows? Honestly. Alright, Urshi Dark Plus Fluttermane. Okay, sick. So, what terror are we on Cress here? So, we're Terra Poison. 
Um, are we gonna see a booster? We are. Please be booster speed. Booster speed, sick. So what are the chances this is? I think we just go trick room. Oh, actually, we're gonna go terror trick room here, right? Yeah, terror trick room. Biggest issue we have here, honestly, is that we... Do I really want to trick room this turn? Because the issue is we have no attacking moves here. So if this is Sash, if we switch out, we can't just kill the Urshifu. I'm just going to go a turn one ally switch here. And then we're just going to knock. Play it safe. Honestly, like, fake out light screen was probably also fine there. Chances are this is probably like a fucking taunt coming out anyway. Okay, no. Gleam. We could blow fantastic we are citrus so that should get us back up a bit very nice and the best part about that too is we now know our opponent does like no freaking damage to us right we knock in a sash yeah sash okay okay um and we're just gonna go parting shot here do we really want a parting shot yeah, we'll just go parting shot here as we just go terror trick room now. I think this is fine. We broke the sash, which is what we came here for. Uh, part of me wonders if I should have just like blitzed. Or f even just gone like fake out there and just not taken the wicked blow. Kind of hope he doesn't CC here because CC would definitely be problematic. Shadow Ball, okay, huge. Dazzling Gleam and um, Shadow Ball on this set is actually really interesting. And he goes, we could blow, we hold them, surely. Yeah. Well, there's that Focus Sash break I was talking about, boys. All right, so we get our Trick Room up now. Do I really... The question is, do I really want to go Ursa Luna right now? Am I better off just going... Ogre Point Wellspring for a bit? Issue, yeah, because the issue there is I'm just going to go down to a CC. He's minus two, though. I don't have Terra Ghost. Is it time for Ursa Luna? Thing is, I can go Ursa Luna and then I just have Ally Switch, right? Oh, this is scary, dude. If, I mean, he's minus two, right? Oh, we got the burn off though, actually. Yeah, no, no, okay. That, that feels way better than I thought it would. For some reason, I didn't think we were getting the burn off there. Um, and then we're just going to go ally switch just in case here. Yeah, I like the ally switch here. Because, like, we could, like, good chance we just pick up a KOE anyway here. Um, I, I want to say Fluttermane goes down to this, but there's a chance Urshi does too. Although it's much bulkier on the physical end than Fluttermane is. Although, based on the fact that he was carrying Shadow Ball, does make me think that this is potentially like a, just like a full-on, like, hyper-offensive version of that Flutter main. Alright, Sucker Punch comes out. Oh, he actually gets the Sucker. Cresselia dodges, very big. And Flutter main goes down. Okay, Flutter main going down there is, like, super sick. Because now we can just go for EQ and we can go for the, um... The, what's it called here? The Lunar Blessing. We get to see his Blood Moon come in now, though. Yeah, okay. Now, the big question here is... Do we tank? Oh, do I go Light Screen here, maybe? Because I could go Light Screen Protect. I don't love it. Actually, I, I'm going to go with light screen. Oh, no, nah, because then he just gets to attack on the left slot. How bulky is this? I got the spread on the side. We're max HP, no spadef. death. All right, Blood Moon, I need you to hold. Sorry, regular Luna, I need you to hold this, man. Okay, we eat that, we eat that, we eat that. That's fine. That's completely fine. Because now we get Fake Out back on the board. All right, but yeah, that is a quiet zero speed. Or at least very close to it. Good shit.
question now becomes what is his last mon and do we beat it with the help of our uh, of our friend here and it's giraffe okay so we can't fake out um so the thing here is right he showed he wasn't life orb yeah i think there's a blood moon coming on that right slot right now and that's what i've got to play for here honestly also playing to get my ogre pawn out of trick room is also like really important here all right hold this insin this insin doesn't have that much special defense i need it to hold piper voice come on insin you got this baby Yes, sir. What was his item? Silk scarf. Okay. How do I play this end game? You look really good, but I need to threaten damage. I think what we do here is I think we sack off Insin. And we say, you're going to eat the Hyper Voice here. And then Insin gets the car. Sorry, then we get to get the Blood Moon in out of Trick Room. Not Blood Moon, the regular Ursulino. He's going to go Terra Ghost or something, I'm guessing. I bet he's kicking himself for not clicking that a turn earlier. <laughs> Because the reason I made this switch here is because now we can always just go facade left and threaten the kill. And then we can always Ivy Cudgel right. That Gleam is going to do a little too much damage, I think. Oh, the question is, do you live the Pachardi? I have to go Cudgel. I'm actually not confident Horn Leech gets the KO here. Oh, wait, he's actually going to just give me it? No protect? Yo, that's wild. That is wild. Oh, now you've just got to hold this. If it's a hyper voice, you got to hold it. It's a gleam. We eat those. We eat those. Surely. Yeah, yeah easy. That's yummy, nutritious, and delicious. You're right back. Yeah! Wait, that lived? I mean, look, we aren't that much attack investment, but I'm still shocked that I just lived that. Alright, well, we gotta go Facade, and we gotta go Ivy Cudgel. This Ogre Point is adamant, so I'm pretty confident this picks up. Yeah. Alright, GG. Uh, not, the, not the best game won there by us, uh, by any means there, but look, we pulled it out, so I can't complain too much, but... Yeah, GG to the opponent. Okay, we have a fun looking sun team here. Um, I wonder, are you Scarf Eruption? I'm gonna th I'm assuming it is Scarf Eruption. Um, which makes me like instantly think like you, you, and then like Bolt and this is like the play, right? I like that incredibly quickly here, but I don't think my own I mean maybe my own Fluttermate. Mmm. I threw not bringing my own Flutter main. I mean, they locked in super quick as well. But I am timid max speed Flutter with Specs, which means nothing on their team outspeeds me and Sun. Um, I guess they do have Zapdos, though, for Tailwind. Very interesting team here, though. Oh, and we do just get to straight up C. All right, this is, this is very pog. Um, I wonder, is this one of the Covet Cloak? Like, I feel like I've seen, like, these Covet Cloak um, walking wakes around, right? Are you speed or special? Okay, you're speed booster. Okay, so the fact that he's speed booster makes me feel a hell of a lot better about my... Do I ever want to risk it here and go for the light screen before? Go for someone like this and fake out? I mean, I could just go like Terra Grass fake out here into that slot. Yeah, I like this, right? Because, like, one, he could just straight up be Covet Cloak. But also, two... Um... It's not like a bad switch next turn for me to actually just go straight into my Raging Bolt on this board state. Because then I can, like, I can always just like ally switch and fuck around. And like, let me have a look at our spread here. So yeah, we're 196. Oh wait, did he just... 
Who, wait, who, did, who helping handed who there? Oh, dude, I was looking at my spreads. Did It had to be Torkoal helping handing this, right? Press eats that, yeah? Mmm, delicious. Well, okay. Oh, dude, he's life orb too. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? That's life orb? <laughs> well, that's frustrating. Um, I need to get myself into a position where this thing kind of goes in later. Maybe like ally switch plus knock or parting. I mean, I feel like it's just a fire move coming out here, right? We just go parting shot here. I think we win this game without Trick Room, which is like, again, I'm really kicking myself now. He's going to be Terra Fire. He's going to throw this straight into my, um, yeah, yeah. He's throwing this straight into my Incin. I, ah, it sucks too, because part of me is like, ah, oh, I should have just like Trick Roomed. Wait, he's Terra Poison? Interesting. Terra Blast into my Cress? Why not just go Flamethrower? Ah, uh, well, I think Raging Bolt has to be my switch, and then I bring Incin back in. Because, yeah, there's like a fire move with Incin's name on it right now. Man, I played... I, I shouldn't have respected it too much, that much. Like, the issue is people recently have been playing Covet Cloak on it, so that, like, it is the answer to Torkoal. So not talk all to Incin. You just go like cover cloak one shot it because they can't like stop you from getting your attack off. Heat wave, that's fine. We eat that. Don't burn, please. And we just go back into Incin now. Incin should eat one off talk all, I think. My question, I guess, becomes. How much does Thunderclap here do? Probably not enough, right? Like, there's no way Thunderclap plus Fake Out's enough for left. Well, we'll find out now, I guess. Oh my god. Okay, I crit it. I was gonna say, dude, Thunderclap would have KO'd there, which means I could have just gone like Fake Out left, T-Bolt right, and then Thunderclap left next turn. Wow, wow. Oh, dude, that's actually so good that he wear was that slot. Maybe I should have parting shotted there. But I don't know. I feel like there's not an attack coming at me. Okay, and Thunderclap goes off. That's super sick for us here. Because we know we have the speed control on the right slot here. So the question becomes, does the guy who's about to come in have an answer to Ursa Luna? Wow, wow. Uh, we got the burn off here, which is like super sick. Because the thing here too is we can technically break the game open here. Like I don't mind losing, like like letting my my bolt here sleep if I can like threaten two KOs. And the other thing too is we always have the switch here. It's flutter main, okay. He gets the special attack boost. Your real talk here. I think this is just a thunderclap here, and it's just a fucking EQ. I just say, fuck it, we ball. I take, like, all three kills here. Oh, dude, you're kidding me. That wasn't fuck it, we ball, boys. Well, I kill Torkoal, at least. The issue is, even if I don't kill Bolt, it's just stuck on the board asleep. <laughs> Which just feels kind of fucking bad, man. Bye, Torkoal. Bye, Bolt. Oh, dude, if I just facade right there and then, like, switch, dude, it was so free. Really wish I had a fucking full HP Bolt right now. Oh, we lost our light screen, too, of course. So we have Fake Out for right here. No, we don't have fake out for right here, boys. I fucking lied. So we can't fake it out. Um, this is just gonna be a blitz here and a fucking an EQ and we pray. I'm almost certain we kill every mon here if this lands. Alright, hold. Scarf eruption. It's not. Sacred fire. It connects. 
All right, Ursula, this is it, King. Show me your fucking power. I, I think this KO is both. I think this KO is both. You're kidding me. It's a fucking focus sash flutter, man, boys. Modest sashed flutter main lads. Wowie. Guess I fucked up not clicking trick room. Or just switching. <laughs> that was also probably a fuck up. <laughs> Did you do that? That was a fun game. That was a fun game. Ah, can't win them all. Okay, so we have another Blood Moon Trick Room, but the main issue here obviously is this Chen Pao D Knight. Um, very interesting team, especially with those bottom two mons. Look, my first thought instantly is just these two. Um, there's no Intimidate for Ogre Pawn, which is nice, and Ogre Pawn plus Flutter Bane is pretty good into the Power Knight stuff. Um, do I want Ursa Luna? I mean, Ursa Luna is pretty good here. Not Ursa Luna, sorry, in Sin. Oh, this is meant to be the showcase of these two mons. I guess these two are pretty good in the back, right? Like, if I stop their trick room from going up, or if they get... And nah, if they get a trick room up, I think you're good. But then do I want Incin? What do I want? Like, Bolt. Bolt actually does feel pretty nice here. Um... Uh, we're going in. We need a we need a way to slow down their bear. Cause yeah, the, the bear can kind of get out of control if it's uh, played properly. Okay, D knife has dippity and don't classic me. I've turned the fucking music off. Alright. Oh good. So this one here, pheasant dippity is probably going to be a bit of a pain in the ass here, isn't it? Um, stab gleam does look pretty decent. I don't even mind just trying to get a Saluna in for free. Oh, this one's going to be tricky. Um, how, like, because the issue is, I mean, we're not that bad into Pow in the back. I think we can just go for the Gleams here, and then we just go the Leech on Pheasantipity, and we kind of just pray. Because <laughs> Pheasantipity, uh, actually, if it's like a Timid Max speed set, which chances are it probably is, it will outspeed my Ogre Pawn here, which is like super annoying. Uh, but that's fine. We'll be able to deal with that. Um, see what they're going to go for here. So I get the first terror. That's, I mean, to be expected, I guess. But we'll see. We'll see. Kind of expecting D Knight to potentially just go like E Speed or Aerial Ace. All right, they're going to terror two. Is it terror pheasant dippity? That'd be like really good if pheasant dippity teared out of its book. Nah, okay. Of course, of course. It's going to be Terra Flying or Terra, terra Steel. Okay. All right, I've been cooked, boys. This one's kind of over. Um, go next, I guess. At this stage, it becomes Protect. Like, it's going to be just like Protect Ursaluna. Get Ursaluna on the board. Okay, we are faster than Pheasantipity, though, which is pretty big considering we're really slow. Icy Wind comes out, to be expected. Now, show me, like, a uh, area lace into the left slot, I'm guessing. Potentially even my right slot, too. Iron Head? Okay. Sick. Flutterbane going down here is actually no cap. Best case scenario. Because I needed to get Ursa Luna in for free on this board state. I mean, he crits, it doesn't matter. I was never dying. So, I was never living there. Goodbye, Flutterbane. You'll be missed. Um, Ursa Luna, I really need you to carry your fucking weight here, mate. <laughs> the question is, do I ever want to risk hitting... Like, I could go redirection here. But realistically, what do they have that hits this Ursa Luna right now? Um, I'm going to say nothing and pray they try to target the spiky shield here with like an aerial ace. Just assume the... Man, I could have I could have also just like redirect SD'd, which is like maybe better. I don't know. It's hard. I feel like I, I can't give up too much ground right now. I need to try to get the two KOs while I can. Uh, and then that'll kind of just open up for my Ogre Pawn, I think. Sorry, my, yeah, my Ogre Pawn to then redirect the facades. Or I can even just, like, go Facade plus fucking Ivy Cudgel or something. We also have Incin in the back as well, which is, I guess, still good. Oh, come on, just don't KO my left slot. Do some weird stuff, and then just we'll go from there. All right, Spike Shield comes out. I'm, I should be slower than Pheasantivity, which means they both attack. Show me something into the right slot. Gleam, that's fine. We eat those. 
Don't poison though, I would prefer the burn here. Okay, Iron Head. Alright, we resist this. Are you banded terrorist? What the fuck, dude? Uh, am I calculated? Does Grad mustn't resist steel? I mean, this should just be a double KO anyway. But, but, but. We don't kill the D Knight. That's a big rest in spaghetti, boys. Alright, that's okay. That's okay. We've got him going. That's the main thing here. Oh, what's he going to show us now? Chen Pao. Okay. <coughs> Pao's fine. Because we can always go in Sin for Pao. Just protect. Is it just protect or is it going in Sin now? How how important is this thing for the rest of the game? It's pretty important depending on what his last one is, right? It's going to be an Iron Head or a Sacred Sword going left. I feel like the Iron Head's definitely going into that slot though. He knows he kills it. And then I guess we just... No, we can't Horn Leech. It doesn't guarantee the kill. We just Cudgel. Ah, oh, it's rough here. Because, like, that Icy Wind means I'm slower. So he's going to get the attack off here no matter what. In before multi-scale, actually. He throat chops. Oh, dude, we eat that easy. Okay, Iron Head 2. Into Incin, I'm praying. Yeah, okay, Incin eats that too. Oh, that's delicious. That is delicious. He also doesn't have Terror this turn as well, which is, like, really good for us. He also didn't throw chop the Incin. I, and let, I wonder if he predicted Incin coming in on right there. Alright, we've, like, kind of evened it up now after a really bad turn one. With two mons down, we now... Sorry, he's two mons down. We now have the 1-1 one, one advantage. Um... And the main thing here, really, for me is... Do we just go, like, here and just pick up a double? I mean, you're minus one. Flare Blitz should KO. I feel like protecting the left slot is super obvious for my opponent here. If he protects and then we live as well on Ogre Pawn, I think we have to get Ogre Pawn out. Like, get it out. It's my way to kill. Okay, and Power Protects. Show me Double Protect here, please. I really need to see double protect here. Dude, are you kidding me? He's just EQing. This guy's a mad lad. This guy's a fucking mad lad. Not protecting in front of a knockoff there is so crazy. EQ. Oh, come on. You hold that Insin, surely. I think Insin holds this. I think Insin holds this. Insin does not hold it, boys. Shen Pao too strong. I was praying because it was spread and I'm very physically defensive, but clearly did not matter. Alright, the burn is now active. We now have our Insin back on the... Sorry, not our Insin. We now have our bear back on the board. The question is, where does he go with his attack here? Um, Because obviously I can always redirect. I think I have to go protect Ivy Cudgel left here, right? It's my only play. At least it's my best one. Because I could have potentially gone spiky, but Chen Pao gets a kill no matter what, and I can't threaten a one-shot back with my own bear. I need him to attack into my bear, and then open up for the potential double next turn. I spin okay, sick. So that's like best case scenario. Now his bear has to go down. I'm adamant. Snake. Hello, Ice. Mr. Day 2 at the Vancouver Regional right now. Okay, and we got the KO. Six, 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 six. I don't think the crit mattered. Um, we're adamant and we have Chen Pao on the board. So now the question becomes here, what is my best way to guarantee two attacks right now? Is it just is it just Horn Leech? Is that it? Is it facade Horn Leech? He he just the issue here is he gets to KO whatever he wants to KO, right? The issue with this is like, if he does go for the KO left and he's not in sash range, because he's like the two moves he's just shown, right, are both contact moves. Yeah. So I think this is my best play because he's just shown two contact moves, which means I might be able to spike his shield in for the win. Oh, dude, but like, potentially you could just like out regen what he's going to do. He's minus one. Come on, drop him to sash. Nah. Double spiky here might get me the win. Come on, buddy. Come on. Just ice spin it twice, hit my spiky shield twice, and then we go home. Okay, and he protects too. Yeah, really good play by my opponent. Oh, I think if I just one leech, I won the game. 
That's really frustrating. Wait, mine just failed. Does that mean I now get mine this turn? I don't actually know how the mechanic works. Because mine failed, does it now guarantee go off? Bro, chop. That's a contact move. Come on, show me enough damage here. If I hit him once more, then I think I win the game. Come on, Spiky. Oh my god, no way. <laughs> Have I just cheesed away the victory? Oh, is that it? Let's fucking go! Ogre Goat, baby! Goat Capon. Ogre, Ogre Goat. Look, I, honestly, I threw that at the end. I think if I had Horn Leech, he couldn't kill me based on the damage we'd seen before. I might have to run that back and double check it. But look, GG my opponent. Uh, we pulled it out. I can't fucking believe that. Holy shit. Okay, we have Tio's Articuno team. Um, This looks like it's going to be pretty fun. Uh, our major issue we have here is our inability really to stop the screens from going up effectively. Um, We'd have to outspeed and kill it, which really is impossible here. Um, Blood, sorry, Ursaluna also looked pretty decent. Uh, off memory too, there's also Light Clay. Mm. Trick Room is definitely my way to win the game here. So how do we want to do this? Probably like you three are 100% having to come. And then it probably has to be Wellspring, right? Wellspring gives me a good answer into Lando. It gives me something good into the Arcanine, which I guess the Bear's also decent against them anyway. You're pretty bad into Snow. Also bad into Opposing Bolt. You could be good for coming out of Trick Room. You give me nothing inside Trick Room, which is the main issue, right? Question is, do we want to rely on the bear to win? Or do we want... Yeah, fuck it. We go bear. We, we just say bear. We say, fuck it. We bear with the ball. The, the, we, we ball with the bear. That's it. We ball with the bear. Um, The thing here too is as well, we potentially have to look at getting up. Um, What's it called? We have to look at potentially getting up uh, a Swords Dance or two. Um, depending on how my opponent leads, uh, we could even have a pretty good light screen turn one. Okay. Definitely isn't a screens play here. Snow warning comes out. Yeah, it's like to be expected. Not much we can really do about that. We're going to get our own Intimidate here. This guy is banded. Um, I think we're what we need to do right now is we're in a position where we just have to say... Fuck it, we ball. You're not going to flinch me. I'm getting up my trick room and there's nothing you can do about it. Because, like, ideally what I have to do here is give him Veil, get into the guy in the back, Swords Dance, and probably um, Cycle. Come on, don't flinch either on here. Party Shot goes off sick. 30% chance here that I'm in trouble. Because, like, as long as this Trick Room goes off, what we can do is we just go SD Ally Switch, and then we're in this game. Yeah, okay, fucking sick. Fucking sick. We're in this game. We're in this game. We're in this bitch, boys. We got the burn off too sick. So, off memory, this thing is... Is he... I don't think it had Blizzard, right? Am I crazy to think it didn't have Blizzard? I, th I think we have to just say fuck it anyway. We ball here. Uh, and we just go light screen. Arcanine, yeah, okay. Arcanine withdrawing is like so good for us as well. What's he going into here? Lando? Uh, Articuno, okay, okay. So issue with Articuno coming out here is it is a mom that we do actually unfortunately have to attack into with um uh with what's it called facade. We can't just EQ. The real question now becomes though. We get our own light screen up. How much damage are you actually dealing? Because I am burnt, right? I could probably go for a second SD here. Can I afford to do two SDs? Veil is up. Snow is up. Okay, so like, well, I could SD... Protect, SD, protect. But then I'm out of trick room and it gets pretty messy. 
I think two facades has to be the play, right? And then we just start Luna Blessing, blessing out. Yeah. I feel like this has got to be a two shot, right? Oh my god, that did way more than I thought it would. Oh my god, the issue with this though is now he can freeze me. Oh, I did not think about that. I did not think about that. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, you got the sheer cold. Oh, he went the sheer cold. Oh my goodness. Don't you dare freeze. Don't you dare. Oh, thank God. I thought he fucking fuck. Oh, dude. Dude, dude, I'm not gonna lie. I fucking, I thought I threw the game for a second then. <laughs> All right, uh, and we're just gonna go the ally switch here. I, I'm assuming the sheer cold's aimed at it. I don't want to be in a position where I miss the, the facade here. Get rid of this and then I can spam EQ. Feels fucking good, man. Also, kind of makes me wish that last time I... Okay, and he's going to bring in the Arcanine, I'm guessing, right? He's going to try to play around with me here. Yeah, that's fun. Getting me to minus one really doesn't fucking matter, I don't think. Sorry, not minus one. I'm plus one. Because what my opponent's going to have to realize really soon is... And the worst... I mean... Oh my god, Ursa Luna, you need to stop. Can I afford to risk the freeze is my fucking question here. I think I have to go for it anyway, right? It has to be Luna Blessing, and it has to be... You know what? <sighs> nah, because I'm not... Yeah, we just say fuck it, we EQ here. He's probably bringing the Articuno back in. Oh, he's not bringing the Articuno in, okay. Alright, Ursa Luna, I need you to not get frozen here, King. I need you to not get frozen. Dude, I feel, I'm playing around Freeze so fucking poorly right now. Like, obviously, I have ways around it in the sense of, like, you know, I can just Luna Blessing and get rid of it, but it's still not fun. 60 extra HP, so nice, though. Don't freeze, don't freeze, don't freeze. Okay, see, oh, and the snow's down, too. The snow going down is, like, super good for us here. Because we still have one turn of light screen up as well. He sends out the bolt. Dude, I have light screen up. I think we just say fuck it, we ball. Well, fuck it, we ball here. The bolt's gonna go like Terra Fairy or something, but that's okay. Second he terrors, he's got a way worse matchup into the guy in the back, yeah. All of a sudden, my back ones are actually decent now. I have light screen up as well. I'm clicking trick room here. Helping hand. You fucking hold right now, Ursaluna. Hold, baby! Oh, come on! Let's fucking go, baby! Let's fucking go, Ursaluna. And that's a dead nine tails, which means there's no snow cloak in the back. Oh, yeah! Fuck yeah, Ursaluna. That's my goat, man. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Yeah, yeah, sick, 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 sick. Because now my Ursaluna says, give me one, yeah? It just says, pick one and I'm taking it from you. Right? And the guy we're fucking taking from him, right? The guy we're going to take here, going to go... Oh, he does have Thunderclap, though, is the issue here, right? I have shown ally switch once. Things could get dangerous here. We just get rid of this, right? Thunderclap, it fails. Let's fucking go. Ally switch king. But Goodbye. And now Ursa Luna does go down, unfortunately. But Incineroar should be able to clean up this game now. Sheer cult. Dude, if you just clicked fucking blizzards, this game would have been completely different. Also, my question is, why is he going sheer cold on that slot? Like in case I switch or something? Just click your ice beams. Click your blizzards, man. I really think that's where my opponent threw this game here. Like, not just going... He didn't go offensive enough. Also, Ursa Luna just fucking holds. Like, you know, what can you do really there? Blitz. 
We'll just Luna Blessing here, just for GP. My opponent's probably going to cancel, yeah. GG, dude. Fucking Ursa Luna absolutely carried the boys there. Okay. Pretty hyper offensive looking team here. Very, very scary. Um, Obviously, our ball, our Ursa Luna here under Trick Room actually looks like it goes kind of hard. Issue is potentially three mons off the ground, which is like definitely the scariest thing about this team here. Um, I honestly don't hate going like this mode here with the Trick Room in the back. Um, no, Ogre Pond does feel kind of weird though into half his team. Nah, I think that's fine. Like, I really want to showcase Ursa Luna in this game. I have not used Ursa Luna in so long prior to this video. So like, it, it's been really fun just using it. I kind of want to showcase it here. Because yeah, I definitely think it kind of goes in. Like, if you look at his team, if I can position it well in the end game, like maybe get up a late game trick room as I like a parting shot out or something, it could be like really good. Not to mention my team, my opponent's team here does have a lot of good mons here into things like my Ogre Pawn and my, um, my Ursa Luna as well. So I think Fluttermane should hopefully be able to rip a hole open for us. He goes his own Flutter and he goes his own Urshi Rapid. Okay. No booster on our opponent's team. We do have Shadow Ball. So now the big question I have is, is my opponent rocking one of those sets that is a bit different? Um, do I want to go Terra Fairy Gleam or just go Raw Shadow Ball here? Toy Spec Shadow Ball is pretty pog. Um, I, and we should outspeed this unless he's max speed. We also get to see here if my opponent's Sash as well. Oh, Helmet Ensign? Dude, what the frick? Wait, and he's timid? He's timid 252? I'm timid 252, man. He's Sash, dude. Wait, is he not Sash? Okay, okay. Seeing that that went last there is really good for us. I think right now what I'm going to do is go... Is there... Yeah, no. Nah. I think we're just going to go Terrify here. Go Knock. Is that my play? Yeah, and then we just go Cress here. Dude, I should have just fucking Dazzling Gleamed. Holy shit. Cresselia the Royal Master. I would love nothing more than to see a, a, a Surging Strike come into that right slot here. Dude, Helmet in- uh, sorry, Helmet Urshi is actually so wild by my opponent, it's kinda nutty. Dude, Cress, you did not eat that well enough, my guy. <coughs> my apologies. Alright, so Insin just took like zero damage. That's really good. We get to say goodbye now as well to the Flutter main. We get to see item we use specs. You had to be specs, right? Do we really not get to see the item? Cho oh, Choice Scarf Flutter main next door. No wonder he outsped me. Holy fucking shit. Alright, the Roaring Mid comes out now. The main issue we have here with Roaring Moon coming out is we no longer have anything to either knock off for us. Um, this just has to be parting shot here, and this has to be just, sorry, Fluttermane, you've done your fucking best, King. Because if he DDs or, like, Tailwinds here anyway, it's like, whatever, Fluttermane doesn't get to play the game. Dude, Scarf, Fluttermane. Goodbye, my own Fluttermane. Helmet fucking on the instant, sorry, on the Urshi here. So fucking wild, dude. Is he going to show us a CC? Okay, he goes Surging again. Get to citrus up very nice so now the question becomes he's about to be minus two on the end on the roaring moon right i get my crest back in can i afford to parting shot out this turn is the question it's the age-old freaking question he's minus two i don't think i live the surging combo do i I think I have to fake out right here and just trick room. Yep, 
Yeah, I, I don't think I can get like too crazy here. Fake out here. I mean, like, the Roaring Rune is minus two, which is, I guess, something nice going for us here. See, see, that's fine. You've got, like, no attack, yeah. I think we're going to go for a knockoff and right here as well, and just Lunar Blessing up. Knock this turn. Kind of want him to, like, not ever want to knock my instant as well. Is like, kind of ideal. Instant gets to heal up a little bit. Knock off whatever he has. Is it a band or something, I'm guessing? Loaded dicey scale shot Roaring Moon, really? Alright, sick. We get to show off our helmet here as well, which is, like, really nice. Dude, my opponent's got some, like, this got to be a GC team, right? He's, surely he's testing for next weekend. This is some wild stuff I'm seeing here. All right, and he's going to just straight knock my crest. Dude, with how little crest just took, I'm, like, actually so mad I didn't parting shot out last turn. <laughs> um, How many turns are left on Trick Room? Two. I mean, I got to kind of just go for it at this point, right? Parting shot here. Please don't knock off me. If he knocks off my ins in here, we're in trouble. But surely he just clicks like whatever his other move is here. Double cr Dude, I, I, I actually... I hate this so much. I, I feel like I should have just ally swapped there. But like, I really don't want to lose my helmet. But like, why would he ever click knock off on the right slot when I don't have my berry up? And you're also like minus three, just switch. Surging, okay. So that's the Urshi down. That's really good. Urshi goes down here. So we get to see his last Mon before we potentially bring back... Oh, wait, no, he doesn't go down. He knocked off my helmet. Knock off. Okay, that's so good for us. That's so good for us here. Because now you got a couple cats on the board that really don't want to eat this. This is just Lunar Blessing, and this is just EQ. If he terra flyings, he terra flyings. If he goes Lando, he goes Lando. It doesn't matter. We just gotta like we right now we just gotta stay. Oh, he actually just gonna give us both mons. Okay, that's crazy. Did he really not bring Lando and Ladias into a Ursa Luna? Like surely he had something to switch in on that just then. Homie's tripping, dude. Alright. That's good. Crash just keeps healing, man. Feels freaking good. What's your last mon? It's... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So he really actually just said, hey, I don't actually need anything to beat this. <laughs> I mean, that's just a Lunar Blessing. That's an EQ. Do whatever you want. You're never killing my left slot here. Or my right slot, I should say. I mean, go Terra Normal. Go Terra Grass. It, it doesn't matter. Terra Fairy also doesn't matter. Like, it's gonna live the EQ and never two shots right here, I don't think. Especially, like, with the with the help of Christ, that is, obviously. Yeah. I mean, maybe I should have just facaded there, but, like, it is what it is. I'm gonna cure the burn. Sacred Fire, we eat those. Yummy. Dude, I <laughs> did 30%. <laughs> That is completely fine, baby. Is he lefties? Dude, this is like some... This is going to be one of the jankiest GC teams I've ever seen. Like, Homeboy never clicked Protect on a Trick Room. He's running like... What? Helmet Urshi, Loaded Dice, um, Roaring Moon, Scarf Flutter Main, Lefties Ente. Like, I'm... I genuinely don't know what to think about this game right now. Like, damn, th this is... I, I want to see an open team sheet. I wish I could see an open team sheet, because this is very interesting. Yeah, and he doesn't even... Like, it's he's like, both my mods here are a three shot, and that's not including Cresselia healing. Yeah. GG to my opponent. Very, very interesting team, dude. I, I wish I got to see that open team sheet. That was kind of wild.
Okay, and to close things out, we have a freaking Reggie Gigas team. Um, biggest issue with this team is obviously Gigas stops us from getting guts, which is like super, super frustrating. Um, not gonna lie, that one kind of hurts. Um, but the rest of his team is also super hard to deal with. So how do I want to deal with Gigas here? Um, part of me thinks going you is good, but chances are it's probably like Terry Ghost, right? Um, so I think what I want to do is lead you two to break a hole and then clean up with you two in the back. I feel like that's our win condition here is like eventually we get into a position where we kind of go crazy. I'm just like super curious to see what my opponent's like team is here. Oh, sorry, not team. What his Reggie Giga set is like, I've got no experience really playing against this thing. Like, I know they like to um, use things like Crush Glip. Um, I've seen, like, Choice Scarf a little bit on ladder before. But, like, are you really going to go for, like, a heavy slam in front of an Ogre Pawn? Like, we'll see, I guess. But, yeah, this is this is a wild team. This is a wild team. All right, so, as I expected here, it is the Gigas Wheezing on lead. Neutralizing Gas, super annoying, stopping the slow start here. Um, I don't... Do I want to, like, rush out my Terra right now and go for just a big Moonblast into Gigas? Probably, right? See what he wants to do here. Oh, show me, like, Crush Grip. Not Crush Grip, show you. Show me the other one. Show me fucking um, Heavy Slam into the Ogre Pawn right now, and I'm, like, really happy. All right, Moonblast, come on, show me like 50%. I know this thing's fat as hell, but surely. Okay, easy, easy, easy. Heavy slam, yeah, that's what I expected. So good news is here, yeah, I was gonna say, even if he goes below, that's like completely fine, right? So the question now becomes, do I, nah, I never wanna like randomly switch in my Ursaluna here, I think. Let's just go there again. I think we just start like chipping. Gunk shot would be ah, uh, maybe I should have followed me. Uh, actually no, this one doesn't run gunk shot, does it? Dude, I actually don't even know what the Galarian version runs. I want I want to say they run strange steam, right? <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, but okay, so Gigas goes down. That's sick. Ivy Cudgel, come on, do like 20% for me, baby. Um, I don't think that's quite 20%. Ah, that's a gleam, that's sick. Okay. So the good news here, Flutterbane does get to keep just kind of click our, like clicking our opponent's um uh, team here. Instant, not instant, sorry. Um, I guess, what do we do at this point? Like, I guess our best way through it, right, is to kind of sack Ogre Pawn, get in Luna before it gets burnt, and then EQ... Right? Yeah, yeah. So this this here is just like moon... Oh, oh, God, God. I hate how that works sometimes. We go there, and we just go, follow me. We say, take it, right? Take a kill. He's going his own. I'm guessing it's going to be like Terra Fairy Gleam, and he's going to try to kill both my mons here with a double gleam. Oh, all right, all right, all right. If he goes Moonblast, we're a shot. Actually, I guess even if we get burnt, we still have facade, right? Oh my god, that's really good damage. Oh, we get the special attack drop too, which means Flutterbane might actually live this turn. Ogre Pawn might even live this turn, actually. No, Ogre Pawn's not living. Oh, it's living! I lied to you all. Ogre Pawn is indeed living. Well, li living the first one, I mean, not the second one. Okay, so, dude, this actually just become like, this is straight up go press and heal. It's actually wild. All right, so the way we beat Weezing Boys, um, it's it's a tricky one, yeah? It's called All Your Friends Are Dead Syndrome. What that is, is you go up against this guy, right? And you kill all his friends. And then he sits there being useless. We can't... Da Why did it change it? I can't Dazzling Gloom. Just force me to lock into Moonblast. Um, do we heal or do we go screens? Oh, how fast am I? Let me pull up my spreads again. God damn it. Um... Press. I am 81 speed, which means I am probably slower. Um, I think... What's he got in the back, though? Is there is there any real reason for this? Uh, absolutely no reason for this. We just go Lunar Blessing. 
Oh, okay. He's not even. Okay, he's not even specs. What? What is he then? Was he sashed? Like the good thing here is actually Floodmane probably just straight up at heals whatever it gets gets done to it here. Oh, but we actually just are faster than left, which means. Yeah. Okay. Gleam. Yeah. So we're actually healthier than we were a turn before. <laughs> okay. Yeah, dude, Weezing's actually such a bad Pokemon. <laughs> Ah, uh, we just go move fast and we just like, we keep healing. Like, we don't care at this point. It's like, switch out your Flutter Man, I dare you. You're wheezing, like... Like, we're in a stage where Weezing is like, not healing. And I don't think he has anything faster unless he goes like, Landorus here. And even then, like, it would have to be like a Scarf Lando or something, right? Wait, no, he didn't even have Scarf Lando. Am I confusing him with the last guy? Because what, he had like, he had Insin. I know he had, definitely had Insin. Um... He had Gouging Fire, and did he have his own Oak upon Wellspring? Press just topping up. Blood of Bane was at 61. Let's have a look. What do we go down to now? Yeah, so we're healing like 13. That's easy. Best part too is we haven't even shown off our, our, our ally switch yet. The Great Friend. Are you a Choice Scarf Pokemon? You are not a Choice Scarf Pokemon. You know what that means, boys? This is Moonblast, and this is Trick Room. Flutterman, you did great, my king. My queen. Sorry. This is where we sack you. And then it's where the big boy gets to come in and play. Oh my god, we just one-shot the Ogreborn. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, yeah, I'm, I'm that crazy with it. I think we're at a stage now where we're just switching out Flutterman. Alright, Weezing, all your friends are dead, my guy. What are you going to do about it? Um, do we just reverse the Trick Room right now so we can EQ? Yeah, we just going to reverse Trick Room so we can EQ. <laughs> that was good. So GG to my opponent, dude. Man, sometimes, you know, you just click the Terra Fairy Moonblast Specs button, boys, and it's, uh, it, it, it's pretty fun. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty fun. So, guys, just before I let you go here, I do quickly want to touch on the team. Now, obviously, I did go quite in-depth, or at least I would like to think I went a little in-depth there in the intro of the video. Um, so, I won't go too crazy here. I'm just going to give my opinions on the individual months here. Um, and, you know, kind of just, like, really talk about, um, you know, essentially how I think, you know, they function or, you know, things maybe I would have changed. Um, starting off here with Insin, I did find it super interesting to see him go 202 rather than 200. Just a little efficiency play, obviously, on the Citrus Berry. At the end of the day, it's probably much of a muchness. Um, going Citrus with Terra Grass, I think, was obviously fine. Um, you know, we did, um, I, did we click it? I don't know if we actually clicked Terra Grass. Part of me feels like we did, but I honestly don't remember we played so many battles. Um... But yeah, look, uh, this mon, it's it's insane. It does what it does. Obviously, a little bit of extra speed for the um the you know the insane mirrors is obviously really really good. Um, but the biggest thing for me really was how physically defensive this thing was. Like to me, this was kind of wild. Um, I definitely expect insane to have a bit more spadef, just because of how like obviously you know this mon already has intimidate. Um, but nonetheless, obviously insane's insane. It does its thing, right? Um, I did kind of touch on Fluttermane in the intro as well. Timid max speed. I honestly don't hate timid max speed on um the. The choice spec sets because like a lot of the time people just run something like this anyway and it's like for me i'm like are those 80 points in bulk like maybe yeah sure like maybe that does something for the, the team right but i don't know like I, I get it right you just want to always make sure you win the speed tie um obviously we did find a situation where we didn't one shot a flutter main which was like kind of scary because like again this is kind of low um but regardless again it's a choice specs uh flutter main it does its thing right it's a very good pokemon Ogre Pond Wellspring, uh, the exact same thing, right? This is, uh, on this team, I really like this, um, like, going for speed. And because of that, again, I think, like, this is always the bare minimum you want to hit here, right? Um, 250 to 100 allows you to live a Terra Normal Choice Bend at E speed off a D Knight next to a Qian Pao. Um, and, of course, because of that, um, this team doesn't need it to go super fast. So, kind of just bulk it out a bit. Obviously, go to the Adamant, put some Spadef in there. And, yeah, this mon honestly becomes, it, it, it's, it's just such a threat, right? Offensively, it's really good. It does a lot of damage. Um, and defensively as well, it's just... It really is just a jack of all trades. Pumps out damage. It's got redirection. Spiky Shield's really, really nice. Like, obviously, we got to see Spiky Shield do a thing or two in today's video. Which, you know, it, it, it was fun, obviously. Um, Raging Bolt. Uh, this is honestly a bit faster than I kind of expected. But also, on these Electro Web sets, I'm honestly surprised we don't see a little bit faster. Um, in my opinion, 103 speed is probably what you want to hit just for your um, your calcs on Electro Web. Because then, at that point, you add speed like Adamant, um, Modest, uh, 10, what is it? Well, uh, base 100s, and then I think you also, I think I went that a little bit quicker because it allows you to outspeed, uh, off the top of my head, Lando I if they Terra, um, and you catch them with an Electro Web. Um, just food for thought, but obviously on this team with Terra Electric, you're probably not bringing this into Lando I, which, again, I respect. Um, 
But yeah, max HP, a lot of special attack. Honestly, the best way to play this one, in my opinion. You know, you've already got in sin for the, the minus attack, right? Um, this one, it, it hits so hard. So like just pumping into its special attack is obviously very, very nice. Uh, and then finally, the Crest Luna. Um, honestly, the Crest to me was wild. The fact that it was like bold max max. Um, not bold, sorry. Um, relaxed max max. Um, was kind of crazy. Um, and then obviously having no offensive move as well, I thought was kind of wild as well. Um, but yeah, look, I mean, it worked, right? I think the Crest did put in, um, put in a lot of work in the battles it did come to. Um, and obviously I think light screen, um, I'm pretty sure I clicked light screen at some point, right? Like I, I know I debated it a lot, especially against the Weezing. Um, but again, I played like what, five or six battles or something like that. So I honestly don't remember how many times I clicked it. Um, or if, if I did click it at all, uh, but ally switch was super clutch as well in, in like best of one close sheet. I think ally switch is like, it's actually a broken move. Like the GC is coming up in a week. So this is definitely like the kind of tech you want to like throw on your team. And of course to round it out, blood moon, sorry, regular Ursa Luna. Um, obviously not that much really to say about this. It's super standard, except for this EV spread, like not being max attack to me was like super interesting. Um, cause obviously when you look at it like 90, yeah, you're missing like what's that 17 points that also get multiplied by guts which i thought was like kind of wild um but also adamant over brave which was also really interesting my my assumption is like assuming that like because i'm sure blood moon ursa luna is like probably um everywhere on hide ladder for card for card at least like personally i don't know i don't play that much card only really for youtube videos most of the time i just play showdown um but yeah so i'm assuming that's probably why it's like hey in the mirror i'm faster outside of trick room that would be my assumption, because I'm assuming if, if you're an Ursa Luna playing against the Blood Moon Ursa Luna, the Blood Moon Ursa Luna team's like, hey, my Ursa Luna is faster than his Ursa Luna, therefore I don't want Trick Room. And then this, you know, this Ursa Luna is like, hey, I got you, I'm actually faster than you, therefore I'm just going to like, you know, in best of one, it, I'm assuming something like that, right? You're just going to, you're going to smack it with a strong facade or EQ, um, and then put him in a really, really awkward position. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, that's the team. Let me know what you think of it down below. Obviously, I had a lot of fun playing it. Um, again, these Japanese teams, like, I think they're fantastic. I, I really want to test them out more. Um, you know, I, I know I see a lot of other YouTubers, guys like uh, Colin, especially. You know, I, even Neil does it a bit as well, where it's like, you know, new Japanese rank one team and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, look, they're a lot of fun. They're a bit janky, or at least you know, compared to how I look at things. Um, but obviously, you know, if when it works, it works, man. When it works, it works. Uh, but yeah, anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for this one. Obviously, go make sure you check out both Colin and Hirofumi. Uh, but yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.